Good morning, family. This is Zero Gravity Training. Good to see you always. I have to admit, I don't have such a big family. I'm the only child and uh, I consider you as my family. So I'm always happy to see you no matter what. God bless you and let's keep it up. Peace. I couldn't sleep well today and you see that smile on my face at <laughs> pretty early in the morning. The reason of that is because I got myself the 100 pound slam ball. Well, at this point, it's called the dead ball because it's so heavy. It's a strong man shit. <laughs> uh, so 100 pounds is a 45 kilograms here. Uh, I did it because I want to improve. I want to get used to uh, optimizing my body for a bigger weight, know how to breathe through, know how to adjust through and everything. And what matters to me is that I display my education with you and we learn together uh, so this workout is called as a matter of fact zgt big rock <laughs> and i want to welcome all of you to this interesting session comparing to the other exercises i mean here i would like to pay more attention to slightest small details that really matter uh, so before i continue to actual routine i want to explain you the idea of how to breathe throughout the exercise so first of all the for major part the dead ball is going to be on the ground your goal is to pick it up activating all body systems that includes core that includes legs every possible thing and that's why it becomes so efficient because you become like a you know functional beast anyways so picking it up a each time you squat you squat you breathe in through your nose so also don't keep your mouth open for two reasons <sighs> reason number one you don't want fly to accidentally fly inside it reason number two is because you want to concern the oxygen so it's always <sighs> make a small hole in your mouth and <sighs> breathe through okay that's how we're gonna operate today so inhale through your nose and when you're ready to explode exhale <sighs> Here you explode it and then if you go down again, inhale again, stand up. All right, pretty much. So let me demonstrate it. Clean. So inhale. So as you can see, I generated the breathe, exploded on a breathe out, had to bounce it up, squatting, breathe in again, breathe out again. Another thing to mention, so... The way you breathe in the oxygen, the, the same way you breathe it out. So that's why stretch your oxygen intake. For example, you want to exhale until the point you're ready to get back again. You don't want to inhale here and then keep the air. So equal inhale, exhale. The faster movement, faster exhale. The slower movement, slower exhale. The longer exercise. So just attach this breathing technique and try to focus because that is what makes you efficient and that is what makes you super soldier no matter what. All right. So let's get to actual exercises. So load number one. Exercise number one is going to be clean, forward lunge, forward lunge, drop. Take a look. I'll try to explain you with the breathing system also. So here we are. Breathe in, breathe out, in, out, in, out. We are here. In, out, in, out. Drop. Generate. Ready to go again? Go again. The most idea of this routine is going to be made of ability to bringing the heavy object up. Uh, nursing it and then dropping it back okay so again without a ball because i need to concern energy so we're here inhale exhale inhale exhale and then we're inhale exhale inhale exhale drop catch your breath this workout is unbroken but that's the point you can take not necessarily want to use the word take your time sentence but i want you to optimize smooth nice intensity so following exercise is going to be zercher, zercher squat one of the best best and i'm glad we're going to start doing it with a uh this beast so zercher squat 
you hold the ball right here and just squat squatting inhale exhale inhale exhale on this particular point uh so uh also clean it up the same way as i explained so squat down inhale exhale and then you're ready to squat. it's important to keep your core tight all right so you keep your core tight chest up assist the ball load number a and number c are going to be similar no load number c same way you clean it and you go into reverse lunges inhale exhale inhale exhale drop keep your core tight at all time load number b clean squat is familiar so just pick it up clean drop okay uh clean over shoulder drop important so in a clean over shoulder drop you're gonna have two exhales so you inhale enough air here exhale number one exhale number two so you need to inhale enough air to stretch it out for two explosive exhales and that's why you keep your mouth shut in a good way take a look so you're here in one two stay optimized stay like that olympic wrestler who is ready to grab his opponent put it on the ground dominate uh anyways i think more or less i explained you the roots of this particular routine i really appreciate you watching it thank you support uh family and ready to go absolutely ready to go ready to grow and ready to take you with me okay time to go peace all right team i'm ready gonna attach the timer as always so let's see what happens okay so load a back to back two rounds so first clean lunge lunge drop let's go five four three two one One.
Finally, repeat that lunge, forward lunge again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Finish with Zerker squat 20. Search your squad, 10 seconds.
Nice. Well, nice one. Breathe out. Breathe. Following rule number B, we have clean over shoulder drop. 25. Thirteen.
20 seconds. So here we have clean reverse lunges, following by one clean and one squat, two moves in one. Clean squat, drop, 10. Ah. 
What time is it? But did everything I could. More would be doing more volume would be slowing me down, making exhausting. This was just fine. Incredible work. If you have a lower slam ball, just crush this workout same way I did it today. Let's do it. Peace.